Wow, so cut out, sanded. Now it's time to make it gorgeous, right? Yes, now it's time to decorate. So you can choose to stain it uh, or to uh, paint the, the, the product. <clears throat> In this case, I'm going to stain it with this nice uh, golden oak stain here. And you notice that one of the things I do is I use a foam brush um, and be safe. I mean, do it in a ventilated area. Uh, but make sure that once I stain this, what I'll do is I'll put a coat of shellac or varnish or polyurethane on top, but make sure that the holes here are not clogged. Um, if they do happen to become clogged, just take a small eighth inch drill bit and drill it out, uh, you know, to make sure that the peg will go down in the hole. Um, and I will continue to do this and you do the whole thing um, and you can be creative do whatever you want you could sign your name to it what do I do if I don't have an eighth inch drill bit and I get stuck in the holes uh, it needs to be something eighth inch you have to push through the hole potentially okay. a peg or, or, or you could probably use one of the gear pegs but I would recommend going to your local hardware store and, and buying a uh, eighth inch drill bit so I could use the drill bit without a drill. Yeah, you could. Need to be. And I use a foam brush here because um, I don't like getting my hands all messy with the with a rag. But you could paint this just the same, or you could leave it natural color. If I don't want to color it and I want to leave it natural colored, should I still put some sort of varnish or shellac on it? Yes. Uh, that protects the wood. Um, over time, as you use it, the, you'll get stains from your hands and so forth. Oils from your hands will cause the wood to gray or change colors. So it's always best to, to put a protective coat on it. Is there any type of paint I can't use on this? Um, no, not really. Uh, basically, I would recommend a, an enamel, something that's going to take some abuse. Um, remember that it is, you do have gears pressing down on it, so things will wear. Um, but for the most part, any paint will work. Um, mo you know, I, I, I would recommend a deep stain for the baseboard here and then the gears you could paint whatever color you want. Um, I get that nice rich color of the wood coming out. Um, And you want to do the back side as well. I always stay in the back side. So I noticed that this design of the board has kind of an edge with holes in the edge. Yes. What's the thought there? <clears throat> you could add little cleats to it if you wanted to raise it up a little bit like rubber cleats. Or you could mount it to another board and start ganging them together so you get a much larger gear board. Cool, so either little feet or I can make a giant gear lab yep. junior game board. Yep. Or you could even take some uh, 632 screws and put them in the back and put a piece of wire behind it so you could hang it on a wall as well. So once you have made a creation, you can hang it on the wall for a while. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for showing us how to finish off the product. I love the color of the wood, but I'm still thinking Blacklight Special.